Hey, hey, what's up? What's going on? Welcome back to my channel, everyone. I'm D Samora. Definitely make sure you go ahead, turn on your post notifications, hit subscribe. We are doing it, honey. We are moving and shaking. Today, we're going to be doing Black Ink Crew. If you haven't seen my Krishan and, and Blueface, definitely go back, check it out and you know come here let's let's watch this episode so this was episode 10 and y'all this was a sad episode for them i mean for real for real so let's go ahead and talk about it so everyone's back from orlando they're talking about all the craziness that went down puma was talking about the fight and everything just kind of filling up some of the other employees that was in the brooklyn office funny thing was i don't remember him being there but I guess, you know, he's doing the whole hearsay thing where he's heard enough that he feels he can tell the story. But tell the story he did. He told a really good story. I mean, he was he said it like he was there. <laughs> and um, who else? Tatiana, she was telling her cousin everything that went down. So, you know, just kind of saying what happened. But I love Puma's reenactment of everything that went down. So Tatiana, Bay, Vanity, and Crystal, all of them got fired. And Nichelle Andrea kind of like replaced them. So two for four. I don't see how it balances out, but Caesar, he can be kind of impulsive and he'll just say something off a whim or off of emotions and then realize, oh, maybe that wasn't the best job. Maybe that was the best idea to fire my best artist or at least two of them, you know, and one is a really good employee. The other one, I don't know too much about her, so I can't really say, which is Vanity, but the other two, I mean, they're damn good artists. They've even won competitions and things like that, you know what I'm saying? So that was not the smartest business move, you know? It was, it should have been more like, okay, this is a verbal warning since this is your first infraction. And then from there, you get a written warning if anything were to arise again. But for him, it was just kind of like, like, where's your HR training, sir? You know, don't they have people that can help you out with these things? So, um, but it did seem like Caesar might reconsider letting them back on, which is pretty cool. Um, he was saying that he does have a history of kind of, you know, like I said, being impulsive, firing someone and then being like, well, can you come back on? You know, so he said, you never know. So he was definitely open to it. They couldn't even, they didn't even know where Rock was at that moment because he said that he wasn't with them after everything. I don't know um, what happened after that. So um the great thing is that Bay she has her own shop so she's good regardless you know what I mean I mean obviously Black Ink is a bigger platform but she still has clients she still has her shop same thing with Crystal Crystal had Gods of Ink she still has her shop you know with her man she's still okay at the end of the day and it made her just kind of think like yo I was possibly thinking about signing and maybe this is a sign from the universe or the higher power or whatever, just kind of saying like, no, this is a bad idea. So that's what's up for her. Now, Drea and Tati and Nichelle, they went to go see Tatiana. You know, Tatiana actually got a job. She's over here bartending it up. I actually am a licensed bartender, but I don't have the patience to deal with people, so I just do it in the house, you know? <laughs> and it's been so long since I got the license, I would have to look at my cue cards again, but I can definitely mix a good drink here and there, y'all. <laughs> but anyways, <laughs> um, so yeah, she went back to, I guess, her roots, maybe what she was doing before she got to Black Ink, um, you know, mixing up the drinks and stuff, but all of a sudden something comes into them and this is where things get real crazy. So I don't know if some of you guys might have seen it from my other channel. Um, it's now called Decent More Reacts. But on that channel, I did talk about the whole abuse thing. At that time, I don't think I saw the full video. I later did see the full video and it was actually pretty bad. I don't know if I said that at that time. I might have not have said that. But yeah, when I saw it after, he was like beating it with a chair, I believe. And he also was kicking the dog. It was it was pretty gruesome, especially for people that are animal lovers. Like I like robots. I have robot pets. But as far as like actual animals, I, that's not my thing. But, you know, I still don't like to see any animals get hurt. You know what I mean? Like that's not, that's not like, it doesn't get me off or anything like that. Like it's not okay. So... 
And in this day and age, the animal activist, you know, and I ain't going to act like I don't wear fur and things like that, but the animal activist, they will go hard. Like they'll make sure you lose everything, bat and ball. It's almost as bad as if you were to speak poorly about someone who is Jewish. You know what I mean? Like you will get everything taken away from you. You know, so you definitely in this day and age, you have to kind of watch what you say, especially as you get higher up. You know, it's, it's sad. I, I see where people are being held accountable. So that's good. But then it's also sad because you, you're not able to express yourself. It's like you always have to. And me, I be saying some crazy shit, y'all. <laughs> so we get up there. I know somebody going to say I said something. But, you know. You have to really be cognizant of like everything that you're thinking. I mean, that you're saying nowadays, which it can be hard, especially if you're someone like me who just says what comes out, you know, but I guess that's, it is what it is. Anyway, so the producers, they speak first to Puma and Ted and Ted is just like, yo, this is terrible. Like, he looks so disappointed, distraught, just like he's trying to figure out what's next in his life. I mean, because he was like the couch holder. He was the one that held down the couch and was just, you know, making sure that things was good. Like, you know, he was, <laughs> I mean, that's what it seemed like he was doing. That's the shade they kept on constantly throwing at him. But I mean, I know like he's also doing things with movies now. So maybe he can focus more on that if Black Ink isn't to come back. Or if they still have the other Black Inks, maybe they can branch out to different areas. You know what I mean? Um... And just kind of leave Caesar out of it. Maybe the other people from like Chicago, like Ryan or from Compton. I forgot his name, but you know, maybe they can do something, you know, because Drea, she came from Chicago. So, I mean, you never know, right? <sighs> um, But yeah, and Puma, he was just like, yo, this is crazy. And this is exactly, it's almost like he, like Caesar manifested this by talking negativity into existence. You know what I mean? Like, I'm definitely a firm believer of you have to be careful what you put out into this world because a lot of times you speak things into existence. And that's how it kind of seemed because that's it, everything that he's been saying for the last few episodes. Oh, you guys are trying to destroy my brand. You're not going to mess up what I built for 10 years, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, you're the one who ended up messing up. Like, out of all people, you did it, bro. Like, you couldn't be a little bit nicer, you know? <laughs> like... I mean, obviously, it wasn't something that he thought would get out. But regardless, at the end of the day, you're still doing something that's, like, inhumane. Well, inhumane? Is that the right word for animals? I don't know. It's it's not it's not good, okay? It's terrible. Makes you look like some freaking psychopath. Um, so, yeah, then the producers, they ended up speaking to the whole entire cast. and But before that, Drea was saying something about, you know, she doesn't condone this. She doesn't want to be associated. So, bitch, bye like nobody nobody's forcing your head and telling you to be here you know what i mean like at the end of the day you just moved back to new york nobody even knows you in this this black ink you know black ink new york but yeah it's like she was talking crazy you know and he just gave you a job over here and then puma he was saying that you know well, not even Puma Ted was like, yeah, he was kind of like co-signing what she was saying. And I'm like, yo, that's his cousin. Like, <laughs> that's tough right there. Like, you know, like, where's the loyalty? I mean, at the end of the day, you say when somebody did something wrong. But for me, I would more so say it privately to them. Like, yo, you fucked up. <laughs> like, I, or I'll be like, you know, I can't believe. Like, I like the way that Puma approached it. He was more like, yo, I can't believe this, you know. But at the end of the day, that's my brother and I'm going to stand by him. But, you know this this ain't it you know like he kind of he kind of let it be known he doesn't condone this but that's his you know his boy you know what i mean so and even crystal and bay crystal's like you can't really knock somebody when they're already down was telling drea that and bay was kind of like you know that he's a good person and she can't believe that this happened so and those are the two that just got fired by him and they still advocating for him so to kind of see ted you know go so hard i i guess I don't know. Maybe he's just disappointed. Maybe he's just a very honest person. I don't know. But I feel like he could have, you know, held it in a little bit. I mean, I know they've had little riffs here and there in the past. So I guess it is what it is. I don't know how Caesar will feel when he does see these episodes and sees the set, sees the things that people that are so close to him kind of said, you know. But um, 
Following that, the producer, she said, like, you know, this isn't good right now. And they're cutting ties with Caesar. And this is pretty much the final episode of the season. So she didn't say completely, like, like it's over and done with for real. But she kind of said that it's over and done with. But there's still a possibility that things can change, you know? That's, that's what I was kind of getting from what she was saying. So maybe they'll continue without him maybe a public apology can help maybe he can start a foundation or donate a huge amount to like what is that the, the you know the animal rights people i don't know but maybe there is some way that he can open up a, a zoo i don't know but there should be some way that he could remedy remify you know his actions you know, remedy the things that he's destroyed. There should be some way. Because when people say something about black people, they apologize. When people say something about Jewish people, they apologize. And normally, like in the case of Nick Cannon, they get their stuff back. So it should be something similar. But um, I don't know. I don't know how badly the dog was injured, if it was killed. I don't know. Like, I, I don't remember seeing the end results of that. But, I mean, it's still still messed up. Why do I keep on hearing beeping on my phone? Anyway, and so, yeah, Alex was saying, <laughs> Alex started breaking down, talking about, oh, that, you know, this is not really him. He actually opened up because of this. He doesn't put his life out there. Um, and he was like, you know, he lost, he had to choose between his relationship and Black Ink, and he chose Black Ink over his relationship. <laughs> I'm like, first of all, she was beating you down. You needed to choose something else over her. And second of all, you talking about you don't put yourself out there. Ain't you on the OnlyFans putting yourself out there? Like, boy, bye. Like, <laughs> your sob story is not for us. You mad because you just got a new place. Just go rent it out so that you don't mess up with your lease or whatever and have bad credit. All right? Cause or do some more OnlyFans and do something else, you know, to get more views. Was you just recruiting people two episodes ago? I mean, so, but anyway, she told him, you know, you all of you guys are talented. Just continue to rise up. You got this, but, you know, we want to see what happens from here, but this could possibly be the last season, episode, everything. But I wonder if that will affect the other Black Inks since they all branched off from this. Or if that will just be this one. Or if they can continue it without Caesar ever showing his face. You know what I'm saying? Like, maybe he could call on the phone or he could do Skype or whatever. If if they need to see him. Or they could just mention that he meant, said something. But, I mean, he is one of the people that caused the most drama. So, it wouldn't, it wouldn't really be the same without him. But I feel like we can go on without him. I feel like there's episodes that we haven't seen him. And it still, do, still did well. So... I don't know. We'll see, y'all. Let me know what y'all thought about this episode down below. I will see you guys on the next one. Laters.